Stop number 25 on the Casual GTX Cup Series brings us to Darlington Raceway for the Mountain Dew Southern 500. On the pole, Nick Knotts alongside of him, Jacob Rodriguez, row 2, Rob McCabe and CJ Sorensen, row 3, Adam Chambers and Robbie Boggess, row 4, Aaron Reed and John Douglas. There's the rest of the starters right here. 19 laps around the Mountain Dew Southern 500 and... Here we go, folks, and boogity, boogity, boogity! There's a spectator view right here. Now back to race view. Nick Knotts gets the jump on the start. In the second is Rob McCabe in the 22 car. The Kurt Busch machine, here comes Adam Chambers moving in the third. All three of those drivers with just one win this season. Nick Knotts won at Talladega. Rob McCabe won at California. Nick, um, Adam Chambers pulled out the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Almost won the Brickyard until a late race crash took him out. Aaron Reed. Runs fifth, there's sixth or fifth place. Steven Weber in the 21 car. Josh Osborne in the 13 car to Jennifer Joe Cobb car. And here comes Adam Chambers on the inside of Rob McCabe who hits the wall. Aaron Reed goes by him as well in the 78. Out of turn number four. On board the Hunt Runners Pizza car of Adam Chambers. Right there in front of him is Nick Knotts. And uh, now in front of him is Aaron Reed. He zips by Adam Chambers. Chambers like, what in the world was that? And we also have an on board of Steven Weber's car, the Trevor Bain machine. car. Closing in on Nick Knotts in the two car. He's pulling that car wide open through the turn. You can't do that, Darlington. Now I say you can't do that, Darlington. I mean, the pole speed for this race was 186 miles an hour. Nobody can run that fast around this track. And that was the man who had the pole speed. Nick Knotts, you're on board with him now on the roof cam. He also has an in car as well. And this is what a drummer loves to see in front of him. Nothing except the, he hits the wall now and loses the lead to Aaron Reed. Who you know has the lead? Nick Notch doing just smacked the wall at a second turn. And you were with Nick Notch when it happened. That should goes to show you that the that the lady in black can reach up and bite you, and then just like it did Josh Osborne in a 13 car, he smacks the wall out of the second turn, same place Nick Knotts did, and he loses the spot to C.J. Sorensen in a nine car. Wonder who hit the wall next out of the second turn. <laughs> Aaron Reed hopes it's not him, or else he'll lose the lead back to Nick Knotts. He hasn't hit it this time. Nick Knotts in second. CJ Sorensen closing in. There's Kendrick Walker. Rob McCabe. Adam Chambers. Colin Cropley in the 20 car. He's having a good run in the seventh spot right now. Here comes, here comes Nick Knotts on the inside of Aaron Reed. And he forces Reed up in the wall. Nick Knotts takes the lead. C.J. Sorensen now moves in the second. In the nine car. Boy, this Mountain Dew Southern 500 so far has been full of wall hitters here today. But what do you expect out of Darlington? <laughs> Not making fun of Darlington. I know Darlington's a very legendary track and respect the place very well, so... Nick Knotts leads the race here, but he's he, he's got he's got a mirror full of 
CJ Sorensen in a yellow car, yellow and black machine, and Aaron Reed challenging for the spot two. <laughs> CJ Sorensen right on that back bumper of Nick Knotts. Here he comes on the inside. Out of turn number two, and just like Nick did to Aaron Reed, CJ Sorensen forces Nick Knotts into the wall for a second time. Out of the second turn, the same spot. Boy, there's going to be a lot of frustrated drivers after Darlington, I can tell you that regardless of, regardless of where they finish. It's like you take it to the back of the pack, Ryan Cooper, Andrew Dawson, Alexander Dawson, I should say, Derek Walker, Juan Chevy, Matthew Hager, Trey Roberts, Dylan Hughes, Zed Weinstein backing up, there's Dylan Petit, the points leader, Matthew Rodriguez, Jasmine Acosta, on the going going inside of Jacob Rodriguez who hits the wall. Jasmine goes by him. Or tries to. Now she does. Right there behind Dalton Day in the 17. Josh Osborne continues to slide back. He's got problems, maybe. But his car, that wall hit. May have knocked something off the car. And Nick Knott's now falling back too. And he hits the turn four on us three times now for Nick Noss. He's hit the wall. Andrew Baranda goes by him, and now Trey Campbell tries the same in the 24 car. There's the 24 to 2, battling for position, and Trey Campbell takes a spot. So does Ken Johnson in the 14, the Bristol winner. Adam Chambers, we saw, smack the wall. C.J. Sorensen now in the top spot. Aaron Reed in second. And there's the third place car, Colin Cropley in the 20. Out of the fourth turn they come. C.J. Sorensen still leading him down. Aaron Reed in second, but here comes Colin Cropley on the inside. Battle for the second spot. And he forces Aaron Reed in the wall. Again, somebody forces somebody in the wall on turn two. Turn two has been the trouble spot here at Darlington, definitely. Like I said, Lady in Black will bite you. <laughs> That's been the story here at Darlington, South Carolina so far. Colin Cropley... Now moves in the second, C.J. Sorensen the leader, looking for the Southern 500 victory. Not if Colin Cropley has anything to say about it, though. Out of the turn they come. There's the helicopter view. C.J. Sorensen, the leader. There's how close Colin Cropley is. Several car lengths back. Out of the fourth turn, they come for C.J. Sorensen. Down to the first and second turns they come. C.J. Sorensen still in front. Colin Cropley in second. There's Aaron Reed in the third spot. Out of turn number four, and you're with Colin Cropley as he wins the Mountain Dew Center 500. You're with Colin Cropley, the winner of the race. And there it is, the number nine car has won the Mountain Dew Southern 500. Col or Chris C.J. Sorensen, I should say, excuse me, has won the race, not Colin Cropley. Colin Cropley finishes second in the race. There's the finishing order. C.J. Sorensen, Colin Cropley. Aaron Reed finishes third. Trevor Reinhardt, where did he come from in fourth position? Wow. Chris Dalton, John Douglas, Richard Anderson, Andrew Baranda, Kendrick Walker, and Adam Chambers, the top ten. 
rest of the running order, Rob McCabe, Ken Johnson, Jasmine Acosta, Nick Knotts, drops it all the way down to the 14th, Dougie Shears, 15th. And there's the final finishing order. Or Josh Osborne, once again a bad day, 35th again. Trey Campbell, 33rd, he didn't need that. It's neither to Zed Weinstein, 32nd. A lot of guys having bad days at Darlington, the, mainly the wall bangers, I should say. But there's the winner, CJ Sorensen wins the Mountain Dew Southern 500 at Darlington. Next race, the next race will be the Air Guard 400 at Richmond, Virginia. And here's how the points go coming into that race with 25 races into the, into the books out of 36. Kendrick, Kendrick Walker now leads by 24 points over Dylan Petit, Richard Anderson, Ryan, Ryan Cooper, John Douglas, Aaron Reed, Matthew Rodriguez, Nick Knotts, Ken Johnson, Fred Christopher, the top 10 in the points. There's the top 20. There's 11 through 20. Adam Chambers, Trey Roberts, Johnny Gardner, CJ Sorensen, Mark Matthews, Stephen Weber, Trevor Reinhardt, Jasmine Acosta, and Chris Dalton. There's 21st on down to 35th in the points. And so that's how they end up at Darlington, and we go to Richmond, Virginia for the next race on the tour.